Cameron here, and today we're going to be talking bingo, which is a bunch check that the defense can use out of too high safety. Now, what exactly is bingo? Well, it's box unless one stays one and then it becomes buster or potentially buster out. Now, there's a decent amount to unpack there, so let's just start off with what is buster. Buster is pretty maligned coverage because it can be a little bit confusing, but the base elements are pretty simple. These three guys here are going to have their respective guys man to man. And this safety here is going to be playing deep half. What makes Buster unique, though, is that these two individuals have the ability to make pass or out calls to switch up which guy that they're covering. So standard example, we're going to use strong side flood concept. Pretty basic, okay? Now, <clears throat> once the corner sees that number two is on that deep out right there, he can make that pass call and say, and essentially he's saying, I'm going to take two, and then you, safety, are now going to be responsible for number one. Okay, formerly responsible deep path, now you're going to have that one. The apex, similarly, can do the same thing with the hook player. Hey, number three's out. Hey, I'm taking him. And matches like that. And then the hook player is basically free to sort of drop back and either quarterback or pick up uh, any uh, shallow crossers from the opposite side, which that's a pretty common concept. It's kind of the first thing you tell him. This is like, hey, look, if they've got every, everything out over here, look for that shallow cross coming across uh, from the other side because they're trying to reduce the read for the quarterback to just basically one side of the field. Um, it's a pretty common thing for offenses to do. So that's essentially what Buster is. Um, it's a very, very helpful concept when uh, played to the wide side of the field in the offense is attempting to uh, attack that wide side of the field with out routes uh, and other spacing elements. Okay, next, what is box? Well, it's basically kind of what it sounds like. You make a box. You have four guys and you make a box. All right, and it's a standard check that you can use out of too high uh, against bunch. Now the rules for it, base rules, pretty simple. Inside and short, outside and short. I'm sorry, inside and short, outside and short. Outside and deep, inside and deep. I'm assuming this is the, uh, where the ball is. Anyway, so makes it pretty simple. I mean, you're basically telling everybody that, but let's see how it matches. So first one we'll use probably the most popular is either seven or more of a corner. Uh, and then this guy's going to go out. This guy's going to go in. So how does it match? Well, this guy's going to essentially stay underneath him because he's got help over the top. He'll take him. He'll take him. That's, you know, inside, outside, and short. So all that's pretty simple. Okay, we've handled, you know, probably one of the most common concepts out there and handles it quite well. All right, so let's say we're talking about, um, let's do spacing as an example. So spacing involves this guy going out like that. This guy's generally going to push, and then he's going to come back and hitch right around here. And then this guy's going to push somewhere around here before turning back to the quarterback. All right? Again, it's not too much of a problem. I mean, we may have a lot of that short completion there, but he's matching here, he's matching there, and then these guys are coming down on top of that one. Um, and since they're coming downhill, they arrive when the ball does. It's a pretty uh, decent opportunity to knock the ball out of the ball carrier's hands. All right, what's another one? Uh, the uh, drive, chase, drive, follow concept. Oh, it's pretty common, so let's go over that one. All right, outside guy, runs shallow like this. He's running, typically it's an in route, though sometimes they do it as a post. But anyways, it's more of a clear out. And then this guy is going to break outside and then come back like that. Okay, and that's the follow the chase, whatever you want to call it. All right, well, as a match, well, this guy's going to take him. He's got this rock here, and he's going to be helping out. And then this guy worked outside initially, so he's right on top of that route right there. And he's playing from pretty decent leverage. All right, so box works against a decent number of combinations, uh, you know, pretty popular concepts. All right, good things. All right, where box has serious problems is when one stays one. Basically, box is really good for handling 
when the uh, offense is using bunch to like switch up different routes and things like that, um, because it's essentially built to be able to take on all of those switches. However, if they do something like strong side flood out of the bunch, problems. Okay, well, this is outside and short, so he's got him. He's got supposed to have the outside and deep routes. So that leaves this guy to cover the deep out. Uh, that's not going to work great. He's completely out leveraged, and he's not going to be able to make a play on the ball uh, whatsoever. Or, uh, yeah, problem. So this is why you have Bingo. Bingo says, hey, if one stays one, all right, then we're just going to run this as Buster, Buster out. That gives us a better ability to be able to match all of this. Okay, so one stays one, and he goes, all right, I got an out, so I'm going to take him. You're going to filter over here to cap that go route, and then you can match here just fine. So this is why you have been, because you got a specific problem. Uh, if one stays one, the offense can uh, take advantage of your rules. And so then you install bingo, and basically you say, hey, look, against this particular type of thing, where one stays one, we're going to check it to Buster um, so we can better ma match uh, that combination there. That's what it is. And that's what it's there for. And I think bingo ultimately is probably the best too high uh, coverage you can use against Bunch because it handles that so well. As always, I hope you found this informative and enjoyable.